Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? I just had the scariest probably 20 minutes happen to me. Oh my God. My capture card, which is the thing that records the game from my Switch, just like completely pooped out. And I was terrified. I was switching HDMI cables. I was doing everything. I was like, no. It, it worked. I just restarted my computer. I restarted the capture card. We're good. I hate technology. That's today's lesson. <sighs> All right. <laughs> what am I doing today? Oh, it's Caroline's birthday. We got to check what she wants. Green tea? How do you make green tea? She likes a fish, fish taco. I think we have a fish taco. So let's get that. Oh, thank you. I'm really bored out here. Oh. Yeah, I don't come out there, do I? Festival of Ice. That's fun. Oh, I have to bring my golden relic to Gunther. I was just looking at comments uh, before this, and some of y'all's superlatives were hilarious. <laughs> they were great. The one, um, ooh, yes, starfruit. Okay. Let's put these. Oh, nope. In here. Yay! Two and three. Okay, awesome. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, the superlatives. My favorite was the time when most people would be yelling at the screen. And I agree. I know that there are a lot of those. I just know it. Okay, we planted all of our star fruit. Please just pray. Why was I making iron? Y'all, there was something I was making iron for. Honey? Was it honey? I think it was. Cross your fingers for fish tacos. I... But do I have the recipe? I might have the recipe. Let's see. What the hell is this? A maple bar. Damn, I don't have the fish taco recipe. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I don't know what to get this girl then because we don't have fish tacos and we don't have the recipe for fish tacos. I don't have green tea. I might have a pearl, but I don't want to give it to her. Summer spangle? She likes the weirdest crap. Summer spangle? I might have a summer spangle. I don't think I do. I don't have a summer spangle. All right, she's getting a, does she like cherries? She likes cherries, so she's getting the cherry that I just, oh. Okay. I wanna keep the star fruit so we can make it wine, and I wanna keep the cactus so we can make it wine. I'm gonna sell this jelly. My animals, I have to do my animals. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sheila has derailed this day. Hi, babies, hello. Yeah, they are again looking at me all weird i don't like it okay i think we can make it to clint's i again i never remember when he closes so oh traveling cart today too okay so we couldn't make it to clint's that's fine we will go tomorrow okay relic <gasps> new reward what is it okay thank you <laughs> thank you oh i actually need to give this to caroline also this cherry even though she only likes it. She will have to do. Deal? She'll have to deal. Where is she at? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is she in the kitchen? No. Where is she? Does this door go anywhere I can go to? <gasps> in all of my years of playing Stardew Valley, 2017, was that four years? I've never known about this. Ever! I've never seen anyone talk about it. Why does anyone talk about this? Look how beautiful this is. I want to stay here forever. Look at the light. Look at the the shade, the light coming in. <gasps> this is beautiful. What? I, I don't know what to do with myself with that knowledge. There she is. Come on, girl. Take this. Okay. Um, I don't know when the traveling cart closes. I feel like it's seven and I'm sorry if I've failed everybody, but we're going to go check. We're going to go check. Today was just a wash because listen, Sheila was acting up. Okay. Sheila was acting up. My roommate was acting up. Too many distractions. Where's poo poo? Oh, I love poo poo. Oh no. We're definitely missing the traveling cart. If time travel were a thing in Stardew, I would 100% do it. It's just the restarting the whole day is the only thing, and I just can't do that every day. Something about redoing the day is soul-crushing to me. So that one time that I did it for the caves, you know it was real. You know it was a real moment. 
Oh, I suck so much. It's closed. This, this, maybe I should redo the day. No, it's okay. It's okay. I am, though, I am going to put this cheese in the casks because apparently you can do that. Someone commented that you can do that. Thank you for the comments. I love learning things. I cannot believe that room existed and nobody was going to tell me about it. Nobody was going to tell me about it. Wow. <gasps> wow, look at that. We can get iridium quality cheese. Okay, I forgot to sort those things. I'll sort them later. You know what? Before we go to sleep, I want to put this kind of in the way. You know, it's kind of harshing the vibe over there. I'm going to put all my prized possessions in this room. Ugh, love that. All right, let's sleep. Let's sleep, shall we? Also, I talked about this on stream, but if you don't watch stream, I got these really cute water bottles from Bink. Yes, it's called Bink. It was an Instagram ad. My Instagram ads know me very well. Look at him finally going to sleep. Oh my god, little... <laughs> he's so cute, but he's so bad. So bad. He's just looking at me. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. These bottles, so cute. Neutral colors. It's like soft. It's like that soft kind of like rubbery thing. And then there's times on the side of them to remind you to drink. I haven't been reminded to drink, but it's been fun. <laughs> it's been real fun. Like the concept of drinking two of these a day, four of these a day, three of these a day, I think is the, is the idea maybe. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, thank you, Caroline, for the vegetable stew. <gasps> thank you guys for the pancakes. Aww. All right, I'm going to take care of my animals. I'm going to go to the Festival of Ice once it opens. Is this where we fish? Because I'm going to crush everybody. <laughs> they will not... Really? I can't get by here? Oh. It's a tight squeeze. <gasps> I can't get by. Oh, okay. Cheat the system. Hi, creeps. The festival of ice has begun. Don't ask me why I put those there. I have no answer for you. Cute. Carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. What does Shane have to say? Okay, he says that every year. Hee 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 hee. Tree of the winter star. Oh my god, I remember I wanted this so bad last year. Icy rug, icy banner. Oh, I want some wall sconces for sure. Cranberry sauce. I do like the winter end table because it's just white and that's kind of nice. I think I'll get, oops, okay. I didn't mean to get that, but we got it. Here we are. I'm gonna get a couple more of those and then I'm gonna get a tree of the winter star. I am. We're gonna have a Christmas tree, folks. We're gonna have a Christmas tree. Hi, hubby. Okay, I'll make sure to bundle up with you. <laughs> um, body warm, more like when, when body warmth instead of. Um, let's start. I'm ready. I already told you I'm gonna smoke the competition. Smoke with my fishing rod. Oh, maybe I don't get a special wood. I hate how they give me a slight. Disadvantage. Oh, I don't get my, I don't get my iridium one. I guess that would be unfair. Shit, 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 shit. Pam caught one. Elliot, nope, Willie caught one. Bam. All right, come on. Perfect score. Do I get a bonus for perfect? Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, Willie's got two. We're tied. We're tied. We're tied. Neck and neck. If Willie catches another one. We're screwed. Come on, come on. We have like. We can't have that much time left. Come on, perfect, 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 perfect. You. Yeah. I think we're still tied. Come on. Yes. I'm so competitive. <laughs> it's times like this when I realize I'm overly competitive and this is why I cannot play competitive games because it destroys me when I don't win. Do y'all see that snowman? I hope it's still there so we can clown it. It is, look at the snowman on the right in the middle. Look at that big ass forehead. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? <gasps> yay! Yay, 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 yay. 
Oh, I got money this time because I've already won the hat that you win normally. So thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I can hang up my wall sconces. I can put my cheese away. Oh, we have some gold items. I don't know what that is. I'm waiting till everything's already in. Okay, let's put our sconces up. Let's see. First one goes where? Oh no, I don't want to waste it in the in the weird. Okay, that could be cute right there. Cute. I want to put it in the bedroom, but I like the vines. Put it in here. And you know what? I know it's no longer. Oh, it is still winter. It's literally early winter. I'm going to put the tree. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's so cute. It's Christmas. Even though it's not Christmas here anymore. It's still Christmas in our hearts and in Stardew Valley. It's getting late. Okay, let me put my sconces up. I'm sorry. And my table. Let me put my table up. No, I can't put that there. I put it there. Okay, good night. Demetrius, thank you. That's so sweet. So kind of you. I don't really have a plan for today, by the way, if anyone was wondering. No plans, just vibes. Just trying to, you know, do our routine. Sometimes, you know, life is about routine. Life is about order. It's about, it's about, you know, habits. And what it's not about is going to the skull caves. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to eat that chanterelle, I promise. <sighs> Life's so hard. Today's just one of those days, I guess. Ooh. This makes up for it. We even had some ancient fruits. Okay, let's see. Let's put some in here. Yay, both seeds. Ooh, we got five from that. Okay, we're getting rid of... Oh, Dang. We tried. Okay, and these are the grown ancient fruits. So let's get rid of these. Perfect. We're getting really close to having all star fruit and ancient seeds. Okay, animals are done. Animals are done. All right, let's have Clint crack these geodes open and then put my cheese in the cask. I don't know, man. I don't really have any, any real plans. <gasps> was it someone's birthday today? I feel like it was someone's birthday today. I shall check. In a momento. Do we have that one? Kyanite? Yeah, we do. Dang it. We have all of those. Ooh. We haven't gone to a movie yet. That's what we can do. No, it's Sebastian's tomorrow, and he likes sashimi, so we can get him sashimi. Listen, we got sashimi. We have the recipe for sashimi. We have actual sashimi. Ooh, parsnip soup. That sounds good. And let's take ourselves to a movie, because I'm feeling like it. We had a hard day. We had a hard couple days of doing nothing. Yeah, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, I would. I want to see it by myself. <gasps> oh, cute, these little butterflies. What's this? Move. It's lovely to see economic development in the valley. Who are you? Get lost. I'm busy rubbing elbows with the governor. Okay. Crying man, can't talk. I'm in the zone. I want to play. I'm gonna play. Lupini, amateurs, my nephew's second birthday party home video had better cinematography. Oh, it looks like you're here by yourself. If you come here with a guest, you can order them a snack. Try it out sometime. I can't order myself a snack? What the heck? Can I sit down at least? No. Okay, let's see a movie. Oh, I'm the only one in here. Girly, at least sit in the sit in the center. She wants to be sad today. She's like, I'm seeing a movie by myself, so I'm going to have the worst seat ever. The Miracle at Cold Star Ranch. It's the eve of the winter star, and it's been snowing for three weeks straight. The Cold Star family is stranded. Getting to town is impossible. Fortunately, the cows have enough hay to get by. Oh, that's good. Thank God. But the family has run out of food. <gasps> Still, Papa Cold Star braves the treacherous conditions to cut down the winter star tree. In spite of their hunger, the family d eats the tree, decorates the tree, keeping the promise of the winter star alive. That night, an unusual phenomenon. Oh, it turned into food. The next day, Mama Coldstar is astonished to find the tree adorned with cosmic fruit. 
We believed in the Winter Star, and so we were remembered. <laughs> I don't know why that is so funny to me, that picture. You know how in Spongebob, like, they'll cut to a really graphically drawn, like, really realistic drawing? <laughs> That's what this feels like to me. They all shared the star drop fruit despite its small size. It was the most filling and delicious meal they'd ever had. The family is saved for one day. And the spirit of hope is alive and well. The promise of the winter star is kept once again. That felt, um, I, okay. All right. You know, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the movie. Um, would I have liked something with a little more action, a little more suspense or a little bit of romance? Maybe. Maybe, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. You know, we just got it. We just got the movie theater. I'm going to go to my happy place. This is my new happy place. Hi, ladies. Thanks again for not inviting me to your workout class. I'm just going to sit here. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, hi. Good morning, Ken. I'm glad you came in. I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. So what do you think? I love it. It's the best. Thank you. I've worked very hard to make it this way. You see, this is my sanctuary, a place where, yeah, it's going to be mine too, my, my, my friend, where I can always find peace. And it's a perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. No way she's giving me green tea. After I just talked about it. Yes. Delicious. I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Uh, let me try to explain. You don't have to. I understand, girl. <gasps> Oh my god, beautiful. No, girl, I get it. I'm with you already. When I'm alone with relaxing tea, my mind is empty and free to wander. Who knows what might appear? Well, is she okay? Is this like magic mushroom tea? What is that? What is that, Caroline? I hope that makes sense. Life can be pretty hectic, so having a hobby like this is nice. So she gets high in her in her sunroom. Listen, I, I'll join you, Caroline. Let's do it. Feel free to come here and relax anytime you want, okay? That that was one of my favorite cutscenes, I think. I love that cutscene. I really do. I do. I did want the recipe for green tea, though, so if you could hand that over as expeditiously as possible, I would love it. Let's just see what he's got. Last 10 minutes. Anything good? Why I feel like that wallpaper is not in the catalog. I'll tell you what. Good night, Pam. I've come bearing jewels. Oh, we have so many of those blue ones. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna put the leaf wallpaper in here. Oh, I can only do it on one side though, shoot. Okay, maybe I'll put it in my room. Be a little spicy with it. That's fun. I enjoy that very much. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Oh no, good, don't, go, don't go to sleep. I don't think I'll do the flooring. That feels like too much. Oh, I forgot I have these things I could I could put out now that I have room for them. Okay, so we're definitely putting the bear out. Does he turn the bear? Bear turn. No, the bear does not turn. Okay. Oh, we don't have any space anymore. Can we make more? Wood and hardwood. Ugh, I hate getting hardwood. I just need someone to gift me like 500 hardwood. Oh, it looks so pretty in the light. I love it. All right, Sebastian's B-Day. I don't like that rug. Thank you for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share with you. <gasps> New crafting recipe, tea sapling. Okay, I think I'm gonna sell this. Oh, I can't sell the rug. Well, maybe I'll put it in one of these rooms. I'll put it here. <laughs> it's so ugly, I hate it. No, I don't like it. Let's just put it away. Crafting recipe, tea sapling. How do I make it? Let's make more of those. Tea sapling, there it is. Wild seeds, fiber, and wood. Okay, so we make wild seeds with those. Ooh. We don't have a leak? Oh my god. Okay, in the spring, we're going crazy with tea. How do I not have a leak? 
Awesome. More casks. Put down. I sell this. And we're gonna do animals. We're gonna, oh, I didn't get the um, sashimi. That's salmon dinner. <gasps> we don't have sashimi, but you know what we can do? Make it, and then it'll be from the heart. You know, from the heart. I feel like we're gonna have to track down this man. Here we go, we got a sashimi. It probably used the most expensive fish, because of course. I just realized this will be the first playthrough of 2022. 2022, 2022. <laughs> just coming to terms with that. Wow, that's crazy. That's weird. 10 years ago, 2012, did I start high school? No, I was like middle in the middle of high school. Weird, time is weird. If you're young, cherish the time you have when you're young. I hate how everybody gets old and says that, but truly us older people, I'm saying us older people, like I'm, I'm saying anyone above like the age where you still live with your parents and stuff, you know? We, we are still young and have so much time to cherish as well, you know? I think, I think it's easy to forget that because you're like, but I have adult responsibilities and stuff, but there's still a lot to cherish with your youth. We should do that. I don't know how. Don't ask me how. I don't know. Uh, what did they want? Do they still want that brown thing? I ain't got that fishies. But yes, as a young person with less, I know there's a lot of responsibilities when you're young. There's so many. The weight of the world is like crushing you because it's like, oh, everything you do builds towards your future. And that's terrifying. Those are scary times. But there's also a lot you don't have to think about yet. And except for some people, obviously for other people there. And that's really nice though. It's nice. So if you do have that dynamic where you're like, people are taking care of certain things in my life right now. And I'm grateful for that. Really just think on it. <laughs> think on it some more than you already are and cherish it. That's it. My question of the day, somewhat related, is what was your favorite age to live? It could be current. It could be now. What was your absolute like best year? Best age? It could be an age period as well. And why? Obviously, because come on. I think like overall, I would say now, because while not having certain responsibilities, you know, adult responsibilities is really nice and freeing and like frees your mind to be able to like spend time on other things and like spend time with friends and develop relationships and develop like your sense of self and your whatever. Being an adult is really, really freaking nice because nobody's telling you what, you what to do. Nobody's setting your schedule except for like work if you work. But like when you're not working, nobody's telling you what to do. You have like money to do what you want to do most of the time or you can just do what you want with the money that you do have and i need to find sebastian it's just really nice and then like social stuff like i feel like as a kid you're told so much to do like you're told you have to be here like you feel obligated to like do things with friends and whatnot and like as an adult after you learn to like, you don't have to say yes to everything. You don't have to be around people to be happy. It's nice. It's nice to be like setting your social schedule as well and be like, this is what brings me joy. And this is what I will be doing in this small amount of chunks. And then I will be doing this. I will be having personal time for this huge chunk. And that's cool. So I guess there's like a, a learning what you like over time and like implementing that in your personal life. Where are you, Sebastian? He's at his computer? Yep, he's at his computer. Well, this time I'm friends enough with him to get into his room, I think. So let's go. Oof, oof. Another thing is like confidence and satisfaction and fulfillment. Each new year you get older. I'm saying this generally. Maybe some people don't have this same experience, but I feel like a lot of people talk about this. You gain a sense of confidence, and I think it's in unlearning things which we've talked about on here unlearning certain standards you don't have to adhere to every standard your beauty standard and what you find beautiful is not what you know has been shoved down your throat for your whole life so there's that but then there's also just like not really caring about what other people think which i would always hear as a kid and i'd be like yeah right like what are you talking about i'm always gonna care about what people think <laughs> that's crazy you're crazy you're just lying to yourself but genuinely you stop caring about what other people think 
you stop and you start doing things for yourself you stop doing things for other people and occasionally it's nice to do things for other people you know you're like i'm gonna get dressed up i'm gonna look cute because it's gonna make me feel cute and you know it's so that other people will perceive me and whatever but it's you know specific circumstances you're welcome sebastian mm -hmm. um but most of the time you're doing things for yourself and it's great it's a great feeling and you feel oh he's working on his motorcycle hold on i'll pause the conversation hi what you haven't seen my motorcycle before mm -hmm. i guess i haven't shown it to you sometimes after sundown i make the long ride out of stardew valley there's nothing else like it blazing along the empty stretch of road towards the faint city glow once i've saved up enough money i'm gonna head out on my own to the city and beyond just me and my bike okay buddy there we go oil's changed hey maybe i'll take you for a ride someday <gasps> uh, that sounds fun uh, irl i would never i literally i unless it was like down the street if it was like a single block maybe but one i don't think i would ever be into somebody who rides a bike unless they were not a man and two no scary dangerous death no mm -mm. no Anyways, why was I on that tangent? Why was I on that? Oh, favorite year, favorite year. That's such a, a fun thing to develop as you get older because you just feel so confident in yourself. And like talking to people becomes easier. And again, this is personal experience. Just like your confidence in everything you do, like work, anything, hobbies, your appearance, your interfacing, et cetera, et cetera just becomes easier thus more fun i'm gonna go chop some wood because i have nothing else to do bam, 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 bam. yeah so because i keep getting this dang chicken statue oh my god oh another one of these popped up we still don't know what these are for do we no we don't adulthood is really cool because of all of those things kind of independence confidence not caring about people focusing on you knowing what makes you happy yada 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 makes it amazing but there was a sense of like anything could happen you know like that uh song anything could happen anything could happen that the feeling of that song <laughs> and those lyrics there was a sense of that in i think it might have just been high school i'm trying to think if i had that same feeling in college College felt a little bit more like, yeah, I can, like, go and party and shit with friends, but, like, I still gotta get my shit done. I'm still on this path of, like, adulthood, you know? It's moving. It's a train. It's moving. It's not stopping. It's moving fast. That's kind of what college felt like. It was still fun, but you had to buckle down. And, like, you know, you would have the weekend, but then you'd be like, okay, now I gotta go to, like, a, a career fair or something. I don't know. I didn't do that, but <laughs> you know what I mean? And high school was just, it's like a nostalgic time. It just felt like driving in a car, windows down, like, best friends with you, listening to good music, opportunities were endless, your whole life was ahead of you, and that was a cool time. Again, definitely not favorite because it's so much cooler to like be not a, a stressed out teenager, but there was something cool about it. There's something cool and nostalgic about that time. And again, I know that I had a very specific experience. I went to all girls Catholic high school. I was lucky enough to have a good friend group. <laughs> we were lucky enough to like live in LA and <laughs> be able to drive to Malibu. <laughs> it was a very, it was a very privileged and lucky upbringing. So it's it's easy to look back on that. What am I talking about, y'all? <laughs> what am I even talking about? That's my childhood. That's my high school experience. It was fun. It was cute to look back on. Whenever my high school friends and I get back together, we're just like, we look so fondly. We we look back on a lot of things. Like, we were so dumb and naive and stupid and dumb. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. A lot of it, we, we'd spend a lot of time like, damn, that was good. That was cute. It was really cute. We did cute shit. Another possible lesson out of that is to change your situation if it's not bringing you joy and happiness and that feeling of freedom if you're a teen right now, you know? And by change your situation, I mean like friends, if you have friends that like are mean or like excluding you, drop them, drop them. Find friends that get you, find friends that make you happy and 
and see you and respect you and like having you around and y'all will find fun together whatever that looks like also same goes for adults (laughs) same goes for adults hello get me out of here ew why can't i get out there we go all right partners it's about that time we got so much wood 300 wood that is so much wood how much hardwood do we need for pam's house i feel like it was a lot i should be doing it every day still and i'm not i should be and i'm not i should be and i'm not i just feel like there's not enough time in the day especially when you're making dumb mistakes like i do all right i'll leave that for uh 2022 me (laughs) wait this is 2022 me i'll leave that for real 2022 me to sort have a lovely sunday happy new year i love you stay cozy bye (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.